there's a group called Moms Demand uh, Action for Gun Sense. Uh, they're for gun control, uh, and Mike Bloomberg supports this group. And uh, they did a program to try to make sure that uh, you couldn't bring weapons into Target. That was successful. So they're now doing it with Kroger, which is actually the second largest chain behind Walmart in America. And Kroger allows for you to bring weapons into, your, into the store if it complies with local and state laws. And now guns, uh, mom, moms demand action for gun sense wants to change that. So they've started running ads. I want to show you the ads because they're, well, they're striking. And it's hard to not see their point. I, we'll see. I mean, maybe some gun rights advocates think this makes sense. So here are three of the ads that they're running. The first one they say, uh, as you can see here, one of them isn't welcome, welcome at Kroger. Guess which one? Now, every one of them says that. In this case, you see a guy, of course, with a, uh, a rifle and a kid with a skateboard. Of course, the correct answer is the skateboard is not allowed at Kroger. That's dangerous. Whereas that assault rifle is perfectly allowed. Isn't that unbelievable? It gets worse. Here's another one. <laughs> Ice cream eaten by little girls <laughs> or by anyone is not allowed at Kroger. But an automatic weapon or semi-automatic, I don't know what those are, I don't care, I don't want to be around any of them, is allowed. Can you imagine you got your kid there and they throw you out because she's eating ice cream, but they will let her walk next to that guy holding an assault rifle? Insanity. And then one last one. Of course, you need a shirt to be in Kroger. So the woman with the assault rifle, uh, perfectly allowed, the dude without the shirt has to go. On that one, I kind of agree. I might rather be next to her than him. <laughs> He's really got to put a shirt on. Okay, I'm not judging, brother. I might look like the same. That's why I put on a shirt when I go to Kroger. And I also leave my weapons, my non existent weapons, at home. Okay, this is crazy, man. This is much worse than the OK Corral, much worse than anything we had in the Wild Wild West. In fact, at the OK Corral, we had a shootout because normally you had to turn your weapons in when you came into town. Forget going into the grocery store. The minute you entered the towns in the wild, wild west, you had to turn your weapons in in most of the towns. The OK Corral happened because somebody refused to turn their weapons in, okay? In this case, you can have them all over town. You can have them at Kroger, you can have them anywhere you like. Just don't bring any ice cream, because that's dangerous.